Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Misty Moss here of Moss Photography. And today I'm gonna take you guys through a behind the scenes of a couple shoot I recently did. So I'm gonna show you the pose flow that we did as well as how the photos turned out in the end. So we didn't shoot very long, probably about half an hour, 45 minutes. It's pretty common for me to be able to work with models and clients within that time frame to create a very nice gallery um, and diversity of images and have a lot of variety in the flow and the poses. If you guys are interested in learning more about posing and getting really into the depths of it with me, I am working on a boudoir posing guide. I'll put the link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Without too much more rambling, let's dive into it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that bell, all that fun YouTube stuff. All right, let's go. All right guys, let's get into it. So as always, I am shooting with my Canon 60 Mark II. I have my 35 mil on the lens. I will pop up the settings for you here for most of the photos in the corner for you guys to see. I shoot most of my uh, sessions live view mode with the back of the camera. So I use the touch screen to select which part I want to autofocus. I just find this better for engaging with my clients, getting a sharper image as well as, it's just nice. I just prefer it than shooting through the viewfinder. So with most couple sessions, I want to start off nice and slow, get them really just enjoying each other's presence and getting really cuddly and snuggly before we move into some of the steamier poses at the end of the session. So here we have them just kind of cuddling and enjoying each other and getting really nice, close and personal. You've probably noticed by now that these two are super cute and super in love. Um, shameless plug here because I loved working with them and I want to help them in their business as well. They do run a relationship coaching service. You can check them out on Instagram. I will leave the links to both of their Instagrams in the description below. Go give them your love. Go follow them. They are fantastic. So I show my clients the poses that I would like them to do before they get into position and do it themselves. So here I'm just talking about how I would like to have Chance and Luna in this position with her facing him against the wall first and then they're going to switch and do the opposite. So when you're shooting a couple, I like to have them switch positions so you can get different lighting and get different kind of varieties of photos that way. So I brought the chair over and I was pretty excited to use it for these shots, um, but we didn't really end up using any in the final gallery because I just didn't like how the lighting was hitting her skin. But we do do this pose again on the edge of the bed where I know the lighting is ideal for this pose. So I just ended up shooting from the other side to get a little bit of a variety to the pose and to the chair setting that we did. Um, so that was probably the only photo that ended up in the gallery. It's pretty common for that to happen where you sh shoot a certain direction or a certain look and it just doesn't turn out the way you want it to. So be totally okay with just experimenting and playing and knowing that it might not work.
So here I am again just showing them the poses that I would like them to do. It's kind of funny shooting couples and showing them the poses that you would like them to recreate because you have to be each person so it turns into this kind of funny game of pantomime um, and I would just say kind of get into it and be silly and kind of make them laugh because it's it ends up being really funny and it's one of my favorite parts. Thank you so much for watching guys if you liked it remember to subscribe hit that bell hit that like button and all that fun stuff thank you so much i hope you found this video informative and helpful bye for now <laughs>